Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hi there, Naomi Robson here and welcome to the show and our regular segment, What Does It Mean If? And I've got my panel of dating experts here to help us navigate the minefield of man-ease. You know that unusual language which sometimes needs some expert interpretation? And our first question is, what does it mean if a guy won't introduce a girl he's been dating to his friends? Peter. To the friends, that's not a good thing. Mm. Um, friends are just the lifeblood of a male. And that's, you know, if you go down to the pub with the boys... And a girl, the obviously, boys, as well. And yep. to the girl as well. So I think that is a very inclusive sort of environment. If he doesn't introduce you to the friends, it usually means that he's out with his friends looking for someone to replace you. Yeah. It's not a great situation yeah. to be in. Even if he goes out, says, oh, this is where I'm going, I'll be home later, that yeah. means I'm probably going to a place which is male-dominated. There won't be a girl there to meet, so I'm going to come home and you'll be there so I actually get everything out of the night that I want. Yeah. It's a very bad sign if mm. he doesn't introduce you to the friends. Dion? Yeah, I agree totally. Like, um, it's probably he's got a pretty sorted past usually and your mates, <laughs> your mates usually put you in trouble straight away with a new female into your life. Could so. it be that he's embarrassed of the girl? Uh, he's not, not proud necessarily, of no. I, I, I think that's a bit of a myth. Like, definitely not. It might be some things he has, there's a few strays still in his lifestyle that okay. he hasn't sort of gotten rid of yet. So he hasn't, he hasn't sort of cut his, his, his ties off with his past. I, I think it's even simpler than that. I just think if he's looking at you and thinking there's not a long-term future in there, why would you go and meet my friends who I obviously exactly. have a long-term future exactly. with? Exactly. Yeah. I'm not going to waste my time introducing you to my friends. They don't need to know you. Exactly. Nick? No, I, I don't introduce... If I'm going to have the really hot chick, I won't introduce her to my friends because I'll try and sleep with her. <laughs> That's just more about your friends than... No, 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 oh, no, no, hey, Seriously? buddy, let me tell you something. Your friends aren't even going to your booth. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real, people, keeping it real. Let me tell you, seriously, a lot of guys have this fear, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding around here. Okay, if I... You're, no, I'm telling you. I was wondering about no, that. No, I'm telling you. Listen, people, I talk the truth. I'm telling you how it is, right? This is how it is. Guys, and I know a lot of guys like it. I've got a mate recently started dating this really hot chick. We didn't see him for six months. And we didn't really? realize, okay. yeah. No, this is true. Guys start dating a really, what, who they consider a really hot girl. And they, seriously, it is a fear of a lot of men that when they tape her out, and it's an insecurity within them, mm, obviously. It's an ego thing. Yeah, no, it's, a, yeah, it's an ego insecurity thing. Mm. They, they're worried that when they take her out, that she's going to pay more, you know, be more attracted or pay more attention to one of his mates than himself, you understand? Ouch. It's a phobia, yep. and a lot of men yep. have this phobia. I've got <laughs> mates, I've got mates who are doing this right now. Like they'll really? come out with me, but they won't bring their girlfriend. All right. And I figured it out, mate. I figured it out. There is a song. Yeah. Not if that their mates ever did that. The mates wouldn't do that. If you're in love with a beautiful woman, um, watch your friends. But I still don't think that's true. I, I disagree. I mean, maybe this is just from a, a sport club background. Like I know I've got a lot of cricket friends, a lot yeah. of footy friends, a lot of mates in that environment. And you need to involve your girlfriend in the mm. activities because especially with cricket and footy where you spend so much time there, if they're not involved in that environment, if they're not friends with the other girlfriends and the wags, if you like, to yeah. use a, a term that's known, then really they're going to feel out of it for 90% of your life. So I, I think more so than anything, I think you've got to trust yourself, trust your friends and trust her. Surely yeah. if you like a girl, you want to include her with your friends, don't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly definitely. right. Everything but that you do, you want to be involved. Trust no one, mate, no one. Have you ever been dudded by a mate? Absolutely. Really? Most guys have. And guys, you know, and there'll be guys who tell you they haven't, and that's that's bullshit. It really is. Really? Of course they have. Every guy it's usually your mates. That's true. Yeah, Excuse me, ask the boys. Have you... Your mates are your worst really? enemies, usually. Thank, yeah. thank you, thank you, <laughs> yay! No, no, I don't agree that they're the worst enemies. <laughs> no, you can be. Mate, sort of never you trust. Too. You talk about you the advice I give my sister. Well, this, if I had a brother, mm. I don't. This is the first bit of advice I'd give my young brother. Watch, watch your mates. mates. <laughs> you wa watch everyone, man. And you know something, the woman... You need to find better I mates. I have never heard this before. Well, this is why you're doing the show, Naomi. That, this is really these are the home truths your, your audience wants to Absolutely. know. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, don't trust your mate. The thing is this, right? When you meet a woman who, obviously, you know, you feel um, you want to spend the rest of your life with, she's your best mate. Yeah. To, no, to no, 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 hang extent. on. This sounds corny and they're all going, Ugh. no, no, no. But that's the way it is, right? When you decide to make that lifelong mm -hmm. commitment, well, then she becomes your best mate, and that's the deal. But not so, to the detriment of your mates. Yeah, yeah, no, piss them off. No, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> mate, no, seriously, the way it's got to be, mate, is she's got to be... No, because this is the Aussie, you know, yeah, babe, going down my back. No, no, no. Yeah, she's I your best you, mate, man. and she's got to be able to do everything you love doing, hanging out with you, whatever it is you love doing, what your mates love to do. Just because she's a girl doesn't matter. Thanks very much for that, guys. Appreciate it. And if you have any questions 
for the boys, please leave them on our website or you can leave your video message, which we may even use on the show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.